Hello and welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of Toucan Plays and welcome to another Toucan's Toy Review. I'm super excited because my target finally had the chase piece for Series 34 that I've been looking for and the Kraken that I've also been looking for. I found the rest of Series 34 at a different trip to this target, um, so I already had all those. Those are the last two that I needed. Now, as of time of recording, uh, Target was still running the discounts on all of the Spin Master Monster Jam. I actually did pick up that that big multi-pack. It's a nine-pack of trucks. Um, so you could go to Target, see if it's still on sale. I don't know if it is or not. The other thing I found, though, when I was at Target are these Micro Machines. Man, that was a blast from the past. I haven't seen Micro Machines in years. Now, Micro Machines used to be kind of the, uh, the poor man's Hot Wheels. Uh, they're kind of expensive now. Uh, maybe that's because they're, you know, retro. <laughs> I don't know. They were still pretty cool to look at, but I am not going to start collecting another set of toys. Uh, they're fun, uh, but not for me. <laughs> anyway, got my Series 34 back to the house, and Joseph's going to help me unpack them all. It looks like a whole bunch of monster trucks. Got the uh, thumbs up of approval from Joseph. Don't mind my wife watching stuff in the background there. <laughs> All right, that's which one are you going to start with here, Joseph? Which one do you want to start with? Uh, Captain's Curse? Pirate's Curse? Okay, well, let's take a look at the card backing here. Here is the entirety of Series 34. You can see all of the different trucks. And yep. let's get going. Oh, I guess we're going to go with Megalodon. All right. Oh, my gosh, child. You're so violent. You're so violent. <laughs> yes, thank you, past me, for uh, agreeing with me. Anyway, here is Megalodon. Now, I've been unboxing a lot of Megalodons, and this one is a very nice Megalodon. I think this one is one of my favorites out of all the Megalodons that I've been unboxing recently. It has the white BKT printing on the tires. I like the blue rims, blue beadlocks, gray chassis, and black roll cage. It all works really, really well together. It matches with the body colors. Although, I, I think I wish I would have had the, uh, the tire or the wheels a different shade of blue to match the top of Megalodon. That's the only thing that I wish was a little bit different, but it's got some heft to it. It's uh, it's a pretty hefty. I mean, it's all true metal, right? That's what the Spin Master advertises. But there's Megalodon. All right, next up, now we're gonna do Pirate's Curse. Come on, Joseph, hold on to it. <laughs> he has donned the official Toucan Plays cap. Oh, geez, <laughs> throw in the trash. Boom, then here is Pirate's Curse. Again, we got those white BKT printing on the tires. Black tires, red rims, a red or beadlocks, and red chassis to go with the black roll cage. And it works really well. Again, just a nice color combination for this Pirate's Curse. I've got a bunch of Pirate's Curses as well, um, but this one is, is just solid. You know, it's a solid color combination, solid design. The only complaint I had about this one is if you look really close, the printing is a little blurry. Uh, you can kind of see it a little bit there. It's Maybe it's just this particular one, or maybe it was using the old uh, printing technology. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, it seemed a little blurry on the Pirate's Curse printing. But uh, overall, a really cool truck. I love Pirate's Curse. I wish it was still driving. Uh, I understand it's probably kind of expensive to build all these stuff, but yeah, there's Pirate's Curse. All right, next up, we have got Crush Station. <laughs> oh, child. I love you. <laughs> All right, there's Crush Station. And no white BKT printing on these tires, um, but otherwise a very conservative color scheme for this particular truck. I uh, got the red rims, red beadlocks, red chassis, and black roll cage, and of course, Monster Lobster written down the back. Now, I recently got a uh, Crustacean with a different series pack. I think it was a doubles pack. Uh, I will put a link up in the top right corner. Uh, and this is almost an exact duplicate. It's very, very diff little difference between the two. So if you've already got Crustacean from that pack, it may be worth skipping this particular Crustacean, but you know, I'm enjoying collecting them all, so I, I picked this one up anyway. <laughs> but there's Crustacean, very, very nice. All right, next up we've got Lucas Stabilizer. Now things are starting to get a little bit exciting here. These these last four or five trucks in Series 34, geez, <laughs> I really, really like them. Nice, I got those white rims, black tires, white beadlocks, red chassis i'm sorry red roll cage blue chassis so you got that red white and blue all throughout the whole of lucas stabilizer it matches the lucas stabilizer body design and of course we got it works printed on the back 
I wish the only thing I wish they had on the back was the boot to you know put on your tractor trailer. Uh, I, I understand there's probably some sort of issue with, you know, two-year-olds taking it off and sticking it down their throat or something, but yeah, that's just one of those details that I wish was still on there. But anyway, the hood looks great. The printing is super, super clear. Uh, this is kind of what I mean by the printing. I don't know if it's just different technology, but yeah, the Lucas Stabilizer printing is super clear, especially compared to that Pirate's Curse. Uh, but yeah, and I love, I love Lucas Stabilizer. It's such a cool truck. I can't wait to get the 124th scale. All right, next up, we've got Kraken. I was so, so excited to get this one. Nice, this is the first of the blue Krakens to be released in the Spin Masters line. We got the pink rims, pink boat bead locks. It kind of matches that pink underbelly uh, on the underside of the tentacles for the blue Kraken. And we've got kind of a, a copper colored chassis and a silver colored roll cage. I really, really like the color combination. Very nice. Star uh, designs on the front, Kraken printed on the side, and nothing really on the back, but that's okay. And then on the side, we kind of got like, I don't know if they're tentacles or claws or teeth or what they're supposed to be. It almost looks like a, a tooth necklace or something in between each tentacle, but it's really cool. I liked it. All right, next up, we've got Max D. Oh, man. Joseph agreed with me that this is our favorite out of the whole bunch this in this series 34. So this, well, it's not really Max D, it's Maximum Destruction, a precursor to Max D, of course, but it's got the gold beadlocks, uh, gray rims, gray chassis, black roll cage, but the gold body is just the hero here. We've got Tom Mintz, 10 times world champion. I love it. And we got Maximus in there too. Tom Mintz with the uh, the overdrive speedometer in there. Maximum destruction, Tom Mintz on the side. It's just such a nice, clean looking truck. Oh, seriously, I think this is our definite favorite of the bunch. Woo! -hoo! All right, next up, Blue Thunder. Now, when I first saw this on Mac, um, on Monster Jam OCD, I was not a fan. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so bright and so ugly. It reminded me of the uh, Mystery Mudders trucks and some of the Blue Thunder Mystery Mudders, man, they blinded me, but it has grown on me. I, I've actually started to like this. I like the combination of the yellow neon tires with the black rims and black beadlocks. It's a nice color combination. And then of course you got the neon yellow all throughout the roll cage and the tires and the body. And it just pops really well with the blue thunder and the lightning just zapping all over. The contrast between the blue and the yellow, especially like the blue of the chassis and, and the blue, it matches really well with the blue of the lightning. It, 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 like I said, it took me a while to, to really appreciate it, but the more I've looked at it, the more I've actually really grown to appreciate that truck. All right, next up, I think this one's uh, gonna be a lot of people's favorites. This is the 25th anniversary Grave Digger. <laughs> oh my gosh, child. <laughs> he is so violent. All right, 25th anniversary Chrome Grave Digger. Now, Monster Jam OCD talked about how this is kind of a more faithful replication of the actual 25th anniversary Grave Digger. I was not watching Grave Digger, uh, you know, 20 years ago, so I don't know what really the difference was between this one and the other one, but uh, I like it all the same. 25th anniversary since 1982, 2006 racing champion written on the top. The printing again on this one is super, super clear. Uh, I love it. I love the chrome. I love the colors, um, the gray colors instead of green on the front, the flames, super nice. All right, last but not least, we have got the chase piece. We've got Soldier Fortune Ghost Crew. <laughs> Come on, Joseph. Now, I know Monster Jam OCD was not impressed with this particular chase piece. Maybe not with the whole series, this whole chase piece series, because it is pretty close, similar to the Sheer Madness. Now, I was not collecting when the Sheer Madness came out. Um, so this is my opportunity to kind of collect these transparent trucks. And I appreciate having an opportunity to collect these transparent trucks because I think they look pretty darn neat. I really like the clear tires. I like the clear body. Um, the one thing that I don't like is the difference between uh, this truck and the Sheer Madness, and that is that the lettering is not filled in. You can hardly read it. It's just, it's hard to see. Uh, for comparison's sake, here is uh, the Soldier Fortune from that Target multi-pack, that nine-pack, compared with the Soldier Fortune 
Ghost Crew. You can kind of see they're similar in color, but a little bit different. Now, one thing that is nice is that the uh, chassis on the Ghost Crew is all metal, so it has a little bit of he heft to it, a little bit of weight, whereas the other Soldier of Fortune didn't have quite as much weight. Anyway, so here is all of Series 34. I love a lot of these trucks that are in here. Some of them are just kind of the same old, same old, but uh, a lot of them are really neat. I like that they're kind of going out of their way to, to take some risks, like with Blue Thunder and with the uh, the sheer bad, or the, uh, the Ghost crew here. I, I think it's kind of cool. And I definitely like the Max D, the homage to Max D and uh, the homage to Gravedigger 25th anniversary. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Check out the video that you see on your screen right now. And hey, we'll see you guys on the flip side later.